Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Sway. Sway friends. <laughs> How do you feel? Hope we'll be there Not for the 70s. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy. <laughs> Well, I was a <laughs> This is where Ryan, ex-builder from Caloundra. G'day. Got to be a good guy, he's a builder. The Manta Ray Bay Resort was right next to where we were anchored, so they offered that they'd cook pizzas for us for not very much money. So for a couple of nights, we decided to go over there and continue the birthday celebrations. Yeah. Better sweet. He ate it. Uh, it's a second release, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I ate what wasn't completely on the ground. <laughs> this is where... Uh, you, you can't even get a barmaid to stay in the bar, here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this is her domain. What goes on here most of the time? Other than just, just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Moving from Manta Ray Bay this morning up to Blue Lagoon, the famous Blue Lagoon movie with Brooke Shields. Only this time we got Margie Hewitson uh, doing a bit of fishing on the way. It's uh, quite stressful going through here because the charts aren't very accurate um, but Margie stays up the front keeps an eye on thankfully so what we have is a chart plotter with points that uh, from the cruising guide um, and we also have uh, overtel maps which are aerial photographs um, so we can't really tell where our boat is in according with those mats, except for um, you know, taking uh, readings from the land. Um, but we use the two of those, um, and our points were plotted, and stay out of trouble, hopefully. Um, there's already been a few yachts ran aground, and we don't want to be one of those. Oh gosh, it's another beautiful day. Completely beautiful. Just need a fish now. Wahoo! After an early morning start, we pulled up in our anchorage. We'd love to have some bacon and eggs. Oh, smell that. And of course, a cappuccino. This is a beautiful spot. Resorts all the way along there. Looks like there's some walking trails and some shallow reef. Let's scoff this brekkie down and get into it. After breakfast, we paddled over to this beautiful, long, white, sandy beach on the Nuyu Lai Lai. It's a west-facing beach. Normally, it would be packed with resort guests and cruise guests. The cruise boat anchors just off this beach here. But during COVID, obviously, no cruise boats and resorts are pretty much closed. So we had the beach 
to ourselves along with the other three or four boats that were there with us. Put our kayaks in the shade so they wouldn't heat up too much and got ourselves ready to snorkel around the point. a lovely place to snorkel. Beautiful white cream sand, clear clear blue water, hardly any wind, just perfect really. Spent hours paddling around this beautiful blue lagoon, snorkeling here and just swimming along the, the shallow edge of the ocean here. It was just perfect and I just loved uh, soaking up this sonic experience. After a few hours snorkeling and walking around, we like to grab a couple of fresh coconuts uh, and I crack them open by getting my machete and getting a fairly solid stick and cutting a point on one end, as you can see there, prop it up against something and then um, start at the end of the coconut and um, push the stick down into it. It breaks the fibres open and um, once you get it going, you just pull it off and then, you know, the green one like I'm doing here at the moment, you can um, just get another sharp, small stick and poke a hole in the in the three uh, base type points on the top of the coconut, and you get a beautiful, refreshing drink. It's quite a lovely thing to do on a hot day. You have to be a bit careful with these greener ones because the shell of the coconut is fairly soft. So if you slam the coconut down on the stick a bit too hard and poke in, you'll knock a hole in the shell, lose all the juice. But, um, you know, if you do it carefully, like I'm doing here, you'll get to the end and you'll get the, all the um, coconut water. And as an added bonus, then you get all the flesh. So, uh, we we gather a lot of the flesh and keep it in a Tupperware container on the boat. It's a very nice snack. with some friends, did you? Yeah, I see with some friends. This is George, he's a caretaker of the Blue Lagoon Resort, which is in there. And at the moment, there's no people. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Uh, George is going to see if there's any lobsters about. And we're going to go over to the village and um, have a chat to the people over there and then maybe go to the tea house. Do you see the little camera? Why? <laughs> really good, eh? Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll let you know if you want to go to the village and I see the, the person who's going to wait for you in the, in the beach, okay? Okay. 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 Yeah, and just tell me what time you feel gonna go to go to the village. Okay, so what time do we wanna go? Well, I think we might go over to the house? the tea house okay, first. Okay, yeah. Then you to walk like here to this way and uh, let me know what time you feel gonna go to the uh, come back from the tea house if you want to go to the village. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll call you. Wait for you to, uh, yeah, so we'll see you at your yeah. house after. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Can you, will you ring them? Yeah, I'll call them. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to go over there. Because the French guy that lives on that yacht out there, Jean-Pierre, yeah. he's going to come with us oh, okay. to the village too. I'll call one way in the morning. Okay, I'll be great. Thank you, George. What's your number? My number is 8... 306319. It's a company phone. 806319. Yeah, I don't have a mobile. I will carry this a company phone. Yeah. 806319. Okay. Well, I'll put you in my phone. Yeah, because one day uh, my, my friend supposed to bring one phone for me. He's here, but he never come. My, my friend. He used to come every year, but he never come here. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. This part of the island is allocated for the cruise ship guests to use during their day of relaxation at the island. George, who's the caretaker for this part, said to us that there was a great track through the jungle to the other side of the island. Um, he said it takes about 25 minutes, but I think it took us more like an hour. Um, and at the end of the walk, there's a tea house called Lowe's Tea House, and she's quite famous. She's even in the Lonely Planet Guide as uh, making tea and donuts for the guests. So you don't want to go. You don't want to go too far away. Oh yeah, but if you have the camera, it's okay because you can see your boat. Yeah. Go back, but if you don't have any vision, ah, just forget. Cross the bridge. Wow! Woo! See, I wore the right hat for this. The ball. Oh, oh. Drink that. Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't swim in it. No. <laughs> Let alone drink it.
here you'll see some cultivation by the local villagers and the crops on the right hand side of the video are cassava and cassava seems to grow by just sticking a little branch of cassava into the soil and it seems to grow quite well. They also grow breadfruit um, and I saw an avocado tree, some pawpaw trees and we also saw some banana trees. But the gardens are quite, um, they seem to us to be quite random but no doubt there is some pattern to it for them. This is the path leading down to Lowe's Tea House, um, the tea house with the million dollar view. This little girl was very sweet, but I think I must have scared her with my um, multiple hats. Every now and then I get a bit worried about all the sun I'm getting and uh, quite ridiculously probably put on a, a weird hat. the resort here has cruise ships that come in and they regularly feed the fish or well, they used to uh, so many fish around so we got some of the coconut out of the shells we cracked open and mushed it up and let it go in the water and you can see they really did love it that's all right. And this is a statue of my grandfather. Oh! Yeah, who was the chief before my dad. He is kind of a good friend with the owner of Tetel Island. Mm -hmm. Of where? Of Tetel Island. Richard Evanson, oh. the owner of Tetel Island. And when he passed away, the owner kind of uh, brought this in. Uh, mm -hmm. This one is for the young girls. And in the middle here, this is for the teenagers. Teenagers, please. Okay, please. Okay, small one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, teenagers. Okay. We have uh, ladies here, men here. Okay. And then we have the uh, choir sitting up there. And after it's for the characters. We came over to the village of Seisei, which is on the south of the Blue Lagoon. We came over to do Cebu Cebu and have a little look around the village if, if that was going to be possible. We didn't really strictly have to, but we were interested to have a look at the village and kind of the quid pro quo for doing that is to bring some Cebu Cebu, which is a gift to the chief and it's it was half a kilo of Carver root is what we brought over. 
So the, the, the mat is pandanus? Yeah. yeah. This one. Yeah. Oh, and you tear it into... Oh, yeah. Like this. Yeah. Yeah, right. First it's green. Come put it up in the sun. Then it's red. Then... Later. Oh, yeah, this is my uh, daughter's uh, price. Oh, good. She won the uh, tax award. Yeah. A magnificent five or so days here in Blue Lagoon, and it did live up to its reputation in terms of beauty and snorkeling expenses. And as well, we got to meet the nephew of the chief island um, on the right hand side of the video. And he gave us a great insight into village life. He even said to us that he has two brothers who could become chiefs, but they're probably not interested in becoming the chief because they've got really good jobs in Australia. His other two brothers have um, mental health problems and live with him, so he has to support his two brothers, his wife and his two children. So, um, he's a pretty amazing guy, very understated. This is the other side of the Nuya Lai Lai, which really looks spectacular. And I actually paddled out there one day over all this beautiful coral. Spectacular experience here.